Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. I've got two cards here and uh, they came from the Soft Sayings Stamp Set Kit. And so today I went back to the main catalog, the annual catalog, and here on page 10 and 11 in the catalog is the Soft Sayings kit description. And in this kit, there is the opportunity to make 20 cards. And this is an all-inclusive kit. The only thing that is not included here is um, pretty much your glue. And that's about it. Everything else is included. And the kits, the cards that one can make up with this kit are really very pretty. There's um, some die cutouts, lots of different ones, some in glimmer paper. There are one, two, three, four full size cards. Then there are one, two, three, four, I think is right, um, note size cards. And then there are a couple of three by three cards. And the stamp set for this kit is very inclusive. Congratulations, thanks, happy birthday. I think you're wonderful. Hope your day is great. I miss you, I'm happy you're in my life. To my dear friend, love you lots, just a note. Then there are two different size flowers, two different size open leaves, and one small sprig leaves. And um, this kit is $35, and again, all-inclusive to make 20 cards. And then you can purchase a refill for this for $21, and it is missing only the stamp set, the ink, and the box. And so <laughs> everything else is included, makes it easy to make cards. This is wonderful, especially for someone who's just beginning. And let me show you, I'm going to move the cards out of the way, what comes in your kit. So, you get an uh, ink spot. In this particular one, it's basic gray. Then we have this pretty tranquil tide um, washi tape. Then this is one of the full-size cards that has a wash on it that is in tranquil tide. Um, and there are two each of each of these designs. So there's one with a flower in, um, what is that, lemon lime twist. Then, let me see if I can get to the back here. This is another of the full-size cards that has powder pink, tranquil tide, and lemon lime twist in it. And let's see, there should be a full-size... Um, and there it is. Watercolor wash card in the berry burst. And that is, and there's two each of each of those. I've already used some of them, so some of mine are gone. And um, then you have uh, cards that are uh, the three by three cards. And there are two each of the lemon lime twist and two of the powder pink, again, watercolor wash. Then there are a series of um, note size cards. And these cards have two each of each design, again. And there is this gray stripe card, and these are top folding little cards. Then there's this one with the uh, very burst wash and includes a powder pink wash. And then there's this color block that is the Tranquil Tide and Lemon Lime Twist. Now, like I said, I've already started coming, cutting some of mine apart, but there's two each of everything I've shown you. Then there is um, two pages of these, um, both... Uh, these medallion kind of labels and then the banner type labels. And I'll bring this up to the camera so you can see. Um, these are interesting in that they are all stitched 
all the way around. Very, very pretty. And so we've got two pages of these kinds of banners. Then we have the stamp set itself. Uh, and I've already got a couple of mine mounted. But there are the flowers and the leaves and then all of the sentiments. So there's that in there. It comes with a block uh, for stamping. And then there's a series of die cutout pages. And this one is in um, Tranquil Tide and Lemon Lime Twist. And you can see the different shapes here of the kinds of leaves. And it's the same on the Tranquil Tide, just different, um, different sizes. And there's a whole page of these. Then there's the envelopes, and there are four little envelopes for the 3x3 three three cards. And there are envelopes here in two different sizes. These are the ones for the note cards. And so there's several of the note cards here. And then there are full-size envelopes, again with the flap that's colored for your full-size cards. So there's all of those. Then there is, this This set just keeps going and going. There's this beautiful die cutout. Um, and let me put this underneath uh, one of the um, color washes so you can see what this looks like. Isn't that just pretty? And it's got this beautiful flower and then this cutout. And so that's included. There are two of those. And then there are two of these also die cut pieces that have this pattern cut out. And we have another stamp set, and I can't think what it is right now, um, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen, that has this as a separate die that you can use to cut, cut out. So there are those things that are available. Then there are there is this page which is banners, again, rimmed in Tranquil Tide, and these larger banners that are um, rimmed in Lemon Lime Twist. So these are the component pieces. Then there's one more, and that is this, which is a die-cut set of flowers. And there are two of this one. Isn't that pretty? in the glimmer paper. So um, two of those and then two more of the flowers that are attached. Let's see if I can release one of them here a bit. Yeah, this one's coming out so I, I can release it. Um, and this one is the entire flower including the leaves in that beautiful glimmer paper. And there's two each of those. Then there are lots of these gold leaves here. This is a spray that's connected and I think there is are two of those, yes. And then some of these open relief leaves and some of the smaller leaves again that are the die cut leaves out of the glimmer paper. And so this set is extremely complete. It has everything I'm showing you here um, and then the instructions come with the kit and show you what their suggestion is for putting together each of these beautiful cards. And actually, they're quite nice just the way they are. Um, and I have uh, done a couple of things. Uh, what I promised to do, this was a prize draw for a month, couple of couple of months back. And I promised to do a few alternative projects uh, using this kit, and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to put this all back in the box here, and we are going to make a few cards, and I, um, I did some stuff that's more tuned to what the kit came with, and then I've done some that are <laughs> what I'm calling off the reservation. <laughs> They're completely different than what is what came in the kit. And so let me put a few of these things out of the way here and bring back my 
two cards that I made so far. This um, card kit here is one that I've already used. This was a note card, one of the other note cards. And what I did was I uh, outlined the uh, colors using my marker pens, uh, my in-color marker pens, and put detail on the leaves and went around the edges of the flowers and added a few lines and added a little bit to the inside of the roses. And then these sequins are those um, uh, adhesive-backed sequins that are in the new catalog under um, one of the new, the one that has the soda pop bottles. Um, it's one of the embellishments in the new catalog. And so I went ahead and did this and I did these on the color wash card. So more using the material in there. I used one of the banners, used some of the washi tape. And the only thing I did different was I cut this one down about a quarter of an inch top to bottom. And then I put a piece of Tranquil Tide out of my stash on the back to um, make the card. And I made another one. Let me bring that one out as well. And I did it on the other collar wash um, card, the one that's the Tranquil Tide. And I did the same thing on the flowers, embellished them a little, and I used the Lemon Lime Twist sequins on this one. And I oriented this one uh, so that my sentiment was on the bottom, and on this one, my sentiment was at the top. And so I've used all of the material in the kit for that particular card, but I wanted to show them. Then I have, um, so I'm going to spend a lot of my time on this card here. And what we need to make this card, and if we have time, I will show another one. Um, we need a piece of crumb cake that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then I have um, about a quarter panel here of uh, crumb cake um, that I'm going to do my embossing on and then I'll cut it down. Then I have this piece that is three and a half by one and a half in the crumb cake. And I have two pieces of pink. I have one that is four by five and a quarter for the inside of the card. And then one that is just larger by a quarter than this panel here to back my embossed piece. Then I took also a scrap of crumb cake and I cut out a few of the embossed pieces so that I could further enhance this. And on the inside, I just stamped the little flower in a couple places and then I used some Wink of Stella to make this card up. So what we're going to do is spend our time on this panel here. And for that, I need my pierce mat and some scratch paper. I've got my flower and my leaf mounted here. I've got my embossing buddy and my Versamark ink. And then I have some white embossing powder. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by using my embossing buddy and getting this card well covered. This white powder sticks to just about everything. So <laughs> I'm going to really use this embossing buddy. So now I've got my piece of crumb cake here and I'm going to ink up my flower and try to get a really good image of the flower here every time I stamp. Okay, I missed a couple of spots here and I happen to have a Versamark pen here. And I am going to just doctor up a couple of those spots. All right. Now, what I have prepared ahead of time 
is a few of these little flowers to use as masks. And I'm going to put a little bit of snail on the back side of these. And so what I'm going to do is place these masks on my flowers here. If you make these ahead of time, then you can keep them with the stamp set and use them over and over again, um, which I do. I'm going to make a bunch of these cards because I'm going to use these for my thank yous for my customers that made orders with me this month. So, uh, let's see. I need my leaf now. I think I'm happy with that. So now I'll remove my masks, bring in my white embossing powder, and get some embossing powder on these flowers and leaves. And I have a brush here to take out stray powder. So I am going to um, melt that embossing powder here and I'll quiet the video while I do that. Okay, so there I have my panel embossed. And what I did earlier was that I embossed some additional pieces and I've already colored those so I'll show you what I did um, to get that look. Um, I used um, Blushing Bride and I used Pear Pizzazz and my Blushing Bride I just put a little drop of um, reinker here because it's such a light colors, the pinks are so light, and I colored in my flowers. Okay, I've got the pink down. And now I'm going to work on the leaves. Rinse off my brush here. Get the pink color off of it. And go on to the pear pizzazz. Okay, I have my color down, and I'm going to use a dry part of my baby wipe to go over the white embossing powder and pick up any stray ink that is laying on top to brighten up the white on these leaves. And you'll see over here I got a stray little bit of green on the rose but it's not real noticeable and I'm afraid if I try to cover it over with the rose or the pink it'll just make it darker and more noticeable so I'm going to pretend it's not there. There we go. Isn't that a pretty background? I just love it. So now um, I have a few of my pieces that I colored earlier and I have one bit of embossing left to do. This piece is, this piece needs to be cut down because I need this piece to be three and a half by, I think it's four and three quarters, but I'll check in a second here. I know it needs to be 
three and a half. So I have to decide which end I want to cut off of. And I think it's this one. So to make that three and a half, that might make a pretty embellishment for the inside. <laughs> and then uh, I need to measure this one so I get it exactly right. Okay, and I think I set this piece at four and three quarters. I did. So I'm going to cut this at four and three quarters. And again, I'm going to cut it off of this side because it's more blank. There we go. So four and three quarters by three and a half. And that should fit perfectly on my piece, my smaller piece of pink that I've cut to act as the back for that. And this is nearly dry. I think I'm going to use the heat tool to dry it just a little bit. So um, now I'm going to put some snail on the back of this panel. then card base here that I need to fold and burnish and then I'm going to lay this one flat using snail again now then I have one more bit of stamping to do and I use this to say thank you and like I said I think I'll be using these for my thank you cards for this month so I'm going to use my Versamark and center my thank you top to bottom on this panel and keep it pretty far to the right. There we go. Now I'm going to put that, put a little embossing powder on that. Thank you. There we go. And then I'll heat that up. Now I'm going to take that thank you and I'm going to raise it on dimensionals. This is cut to go right across just the um, center. And so I'm going to center that in place there. And then I've done exactly the same thing you saw me do on this page, but I did it on a piece of scrap so that I cut out a flower, a couple of leaves, and this small little flower and what I'm going to do is just put some some snail well I'm going to raise this one on dimensionals and we're going to set that right down here in the corner and then I'm going to put this little flower here which keeps trying to get away from me um, with a bit of snail on the back. Oh, I guess I'm out of snail. Well, I've got a little backup here, so I'll put some snail on that. And I'm putting that right up here in the corner. And then the other thing that I cut out was a couple of these leaves. And I'm just going to put some snail on the back of these and tuck these leaves into uh, underneath the flower that's there. There we go. And that is all ready to go. Now, um, I have a little mishap down here which I'm going to try and fix. And 
In order to do that, I need a sharp end. Scrape off a tiny bit of that stray powder that got put on there to fix that part of it. And then I have some embellishments. These white enamel dots, that might be a solution to my little problem down here in the corner. And okay, so I think what I'm going to do is use my pokey tool here and take maybe one of the smallest ones of these and put it right here over my ink mess. And then I think that I took enough of this other piece off of the crumb cake here that that's pretty good. Then I can use larger ones of these, maybe one of the largest ones, to go in the center of this flower here and put a few more of these little white enamel dots around on the card as sort of the bells and whistles, if you will. And I'm going to use several of them and just randomly place them around the card. And just so that it doesn't look completely odd, I'm going to put one on another flower here. Let's see. I've got another powder kind of problem there, so I'll place it there. And so there is my card. Um, so what I have is a pink, powder pink panel, yes. And what I did was I stamped that um, using the pink and then on the flower here, kind of up in the corner. And I am using the Blushing Bride so that I've got some contrast on the pink here. And then I'll use one of my masks from the other part of the project here. And I will stamp a couple of leaves And there we have some embellishment for the inside of the card as well. Now then, on the inside of my card then, I've got quite a bit of white embossing powder everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and put some snail on this. There is my, the inside of my card done. Uh, with the exception of, I did use a bit of Wink of Stella on my inside flowers and leaves. And then again, I used it on my raised flowers and leaves on this front panel doesn't want to stick to the embossing. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of Wink of Stella here, and it looks like I need a glue dot here to put in the center of my flower here, and then put my white enamel dot back. And there we go, we've got that card Finished. Now this one is, I'll admit, a little fiddly. Um, 
because there's so much embossing on it. But this is also one that you can go along. There's no reason that you have to emboss the whole thing all at once. You can do a couple and emboss them and then move down the page if you're more comfortable. It is a little daunting to tackle a whole page of that embossing all at once. So there's that one. I told you a little bit about how I got this one done. And I have a couple of these done now. Uh, some of them with no additional um, uh, embellishments. And you could also use the glitter enamel dots. And in fact, on one of these, I think I did. Yes, I used a few of the glitter enamel dots on this one. And then um, the other one that I kind of had in mind to do is this was um, a page that I um, embossed and had kind of a big boo-boo. So uh, I cut out a couple of these and I colored them with my um, Stampin' Blends. I did one in the light uh, Razzleberry and I did one in the light Calypso Coral and then I did the leaves in Old Olive. And I thought that that would particularly dress up this little card, which is one of these top folding cards, to put a couple of flowers together on this and maybe one of banners in Tranquil Tide across here that I could stamp my thank you on. Maybe we'll just go ahead and do that. So here's my gray stampin' spot and I think I will ink up my thank you. And then maybe raise this up on dimensionals. This kit is so versatile that I think you could just decide at the last minute what you think you're doing um, to kind of get things on here. So I'm going to put my thank you sort of right in the middle of that card. And then I'm going to tuck I'm going to put a few dimensionals on the back side of this and then use a little adhesive on the flower itself so that everything is at the same level and put this flower here on this side and have that standing up and then put this other one down on this end. down here. Then I pulled off a couple of these gold leaves and thought it might be kind of fun to put those in place. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of Tombow here on the back of my hand and just dip the edges of that leaf into the Tombow and slide that into place right under there. And so we'll add just a little bit of sparkle to this card. go. Isn't that pretty? Just nice and plain and um, simple. 
use a little of my Stampin' Cleaner to get my glue off my hands. <laughs> but there's one more that's an alternative to this kit. So let me just put a few of these things, move a few of these things out of the way. So this is three alternatives to this kit. And since I'm focused on thank you cards, that's kind of what my story was on these. So these are the basic ones that I made from this kit that are a bit different than the ones that are in the kit. Um, and it's very, like I said, it's very versatile. And you saw it took just a second to think about how to do something a little different once again and add this. And this kit is available on my website, www.lbedinger.stampinup.net. And it is such an easy way to put together a few fast cards. Um, and you don't have to even mess with this. The cards that they show in the kit are really quite lovely. And um, so uh, there you go. Uh, that's my uh, alternative projects uh, for the um, Soft Sayings kit. And... Um, if you don't already have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator, um, and or you could join my team. After the first of the year, which is only a day or so away, um, we'll, uh, there's specials for joining Stampin' Up! And if you've ever thought about doing that, it's a really good time to do it in the first quarter. Um, because you get $125 worth of product for $99 from Stampin' Up. You always get $40 of product from me when you join my team. That's all with no shipping cost. And then the deal for the first quarter is there's an additional two stamp sets that you can select as part of your starter kit. And that's all for $99. So it's almost $200 worth of product for $99. And um, then you can do it just to get the discounts for yourself. Uh, you start out with a 20% discount on products, which is nothing to sneeze at if you make cards. And um, then uh, you can choose to just do it that way and uh, be what they call a hobby demonstrator. Or you can put additional work into it and turn it into a little business for yourself. And so um, I'd be happy to have you on my team and help you accomplish whatever it is you'd like to get out of joining Stampin' Up! Um, in any case, that's it for me today, and I'll be back soon with more cards and more projects. Bye!